conversation on the interaction of Africa with its neighbors to the east and the west has been a long-running one today. We borrow from that particular discourse with our motion for the day, Africa cannot do without the east. Hello and welcome to the debate circle. My name is Stephanie Washera. Proposing this motion today, we have the good girls from Mary Leakey and on the opposition we have Mpesa Foundation Academy. All the best to the two teams as they battle out this semi-final motion. First proposer, you have three minutes. Before you is a queen. You can call me an African queen or Mama Africa. Of course, from the school where queens are made, the Mary Leakey Girls High School. So today, this queen decides to put her pride aside, decides to put her ego aside and agree to the motion, Africa cannot do without the East because it is the actual truth. I will start by breaking down the motion for you. What do I mean by Africa? Africa is a continent which is made of countries that are mostly third world countries. What do I mean by third world countries? Third world countries are countries that have not achieved significant degrees of industrialization relative to the population and they normally have a medium or low standards of living. What do we mean by the East? The East is almost entirely made of highly, very, very highly developed country, both economically and industri industrially. Well, we will have to agree that this continent we love so much is more of a consumer than a producer. I mean, we barely manufacture anything for our own. We are a developing country. We are a third world country, and I think I define what is a third world country. Let us look at us. I mean, majority of our fans will have to go to food. I mean, the basic needs, that is. Let us look at this food. According to the World Bank, almost 356 billion US dollars were used on imports. That is by Africa. And do you know what kind of imports these are? Food imports. This is the same, same, same continent. Yes, we love it, but will it be right to say that it can do without the East? So let me put, let me start by saying that this food you're talking about, majority of the food comes from the East. Let me simplify this. Recently, we had this case of Russia and Ukraine, right? Ukraine is known as the major producer of barley, corn, and wheat. It is known that in 2021, Nigeria, Nigeria alone, imported 259,000 tons of wheat. From where? From Ukraine. Well, we all know what happened when there was this Ukraine and Russian crisis. Our food prices rose by almost 33%, isn't it? Look at the price of oil. For the normal monanchi, oil has been oil has been a luxury for he, for for him. Well, if we say that Africa cannot do without the East, darlings, we are nowhere near optimism. It is pure delusion. I live by saying, good news came from the East, wise men came from the East, and Africa cannot do without the East. Thank you. My name is Mariet and I am the first speaker of the opposition side, and I would like to strongly oppose the motion that says Africa cannot do without the East. My second speaker is Winnie Johannes, and my third speaker is Victoria War. First and foremost, what is Africa? It is the world's second largest continent and the second most populous continent in the world. Okay? The East, it is used to refer to the southern and eastern part of Asia, including India, China, Japan, Mongolia, South Korea, and Taiwan. I would first like to start by battling the first proposer by saying that 
Africa has a lot of resources. So you can't say that we can produce, you can't say that we consume more than we produce because Africa has a lot of resources and if we decide to maximize on those resources, we can really do great things. And then the East is not only made up of rich countries. Think about a country like Mongolia. The GDP of Mongolia is 15.1 billion US dollars. The GDP of Kenya is 110.3 billion US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we depending on there? Another thing. Majority of the food does not come from the East. What do we import from the East? We import petroleum products, machinery, electronics, motors, iron, steel, and foodstuff is the last. So we could actually decide to be self-reliant because we have the raw materials. Col the colonial powers came to Africa to take the raw materials from us so that they can take it back to their industries and create products. We are Africans, but we do not realize that we have the key to our success right here. So what do I mean by self-reliance? Self-reliance means maximizing on what we have here. Instead of importing utensils from China or from all, the, all those other countries, we could actually support the Juakali industry because they are creating the same things and it is local. We are supporting our local industries. So why not be self-reliant? We could actually learn how to use we, we could actually learn how to use the raw materials we have to create products and then these products will in turn give us what we want. Ladies and gentlemen, these things that we import from countries like China and Japan, an example is petroleum products. We could actually look for an alternative, which is the United States of America. So this technically means that alternatives will make us not import things from the East, and therefore we can actually survive without the East. If it is food, we can produce. Uh, we can also, we can also l look for alternatives in other African countries. In South Africa, they plant crops. Instead of bringing foodstuff from, from, other, from the East, we could actually import them from South Africa. We are supporting ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to realize that we are the people to make ourselves stand strong. If we do not do that, then who will? So I would like to strongly oppose the motion that says Africa cannot do without the East, because we can, if only we realize it. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. I think I need the broom from Jamhuri boys because I guess the, unsustain uh, the points were not clearly swept off. Um, first, I'll start by rebuttaling. Um, you talked about the colonialists coming and taking our resources. That is why we can't grow, or something of that sort. Let's take an instance of Kenya. It has been 50 years, 50 good years, since we attained independence. In these 50 years, why have we not been able to do this? Why have we not been able to develop? Why have we not been able to, you know, utilize our resources? Yes, we agree. Africa has a lot of resources, but according to the definition from my first opposer, we, most of African countries are developing countries, meaning we do not have enough to actually build on our industries, to build on our industries. So we actually need help to actually refine these oils, mine this gold and diamond. So, on to my first point. Africa, consisting of many developing countries has been going through a lot of health has been going through a lot of challenges uh, concerning the health sector these challenges are like poor infrastructure and brain drain what is brain drain this is when we african people we the africans are educating people but then due to unsatisfactory payments these are uh, people actually go to other continents in search of greener pastures where does this leave us this leaves us in a critical state in such that Nigeria, the ratio of doctors to inhabitants in Nigeria is actually 1 is to 2,000. This only gets worse when we talk about Ethiopia. Ethiopia, the ratio is actually 1 is to 5,000. So we as Africans, we search for alternatives. What do we do? We go to the East to look for better medical services. Why do we prefer the East? According to the UN, according to the UN, 
India, let's take an instance of India. India not only has skilled doctors, but also low, uh, according to the UN, the, the treatment in India is actually low. The United, uh, they, uh, how many of you have attended fundraisings? These fundraisings, the destination is mostly in India, right? Why? Why India? Why the East? We as Africans lack these facilities to actually deal with sophisticated illnesses such as cancer, such as illnesses, such as, okay, such as cancer, such as heart diseases. So, you telling me that we don't actually need the East is actually a lie, pure lie. Thank you. You tell me of the ratio of doctors to patients in South Africa. And my biggest question is, how is the East helping? I've not seen them send doctors to our country. All I see is people moving to India when they have diseases that are too hard for us to treat. But what if we brought the treatment to Africa? What if we learned to treat these diseases in our, in, our own, in our own continent? What if we didn't have to look for passports and flight money to go and treat ourselves outside? Do you know what the East does? Let's look at China. They come and build the SGR for you. They come and build the roads for you. But they never transfer their technology. They never transfer their knowledge. So you're continuously dependent on them. And you're dependent until the day you learn. Until the day we get the knowledge and technology. Not just the, fa the facilities and infrastructure. Until we can do these things on our own. Then we can stop our reliance on, on the East. And we should start doing that now. Africa exports 25% of its oil to China. That's according to Africa Oil News. China, in turn, exports to us watches and toothpicks. It's sad that when you're seated on a table in a restaurant and you turn your toothpick, it's written made in China, as if we don't have trees in Africa. What if, what if Kenya got its oil from Nigeria? Instead of Nigeria taking that oil to China so that it can manufacture a good, then we have to import it back. What if we just move that oil from Nigeria to Kenya, produced goods, and used them in our country? We can stop our reliance on the East. We can do without the East if we learn to use the resources that we have. Africa is blooming in resources. We have gold and diamond and aluminum and uranium and all these resources, but we send them outside to import them as, as, as used goods from the East. The other day in 2018, China took over Zambia's international airport because of debts. SGR was built to help our country, but in case of, instead of giving us positive profits, it's giving us negative profits, adding to our debts. We're becoming more and more reliant on the East every single day, but we're turning a blind eye to it. We want to act like it's not happening. Do you know what this creates? It creates a leverage for them. That once we, 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 the debt is too big, we can't pay it anymore, then it comes back as colonialism. You have my money, you can't pay it back, so I can do whatever I want with you. We almost lost our port the other day to China because of that. Yet we want to keep relying on this East side of the world. We want to continue our production and importation from this side of the country, yet we can rely on ourselves. You talked of Africa having very poor countries. Can I remind you that Kenya is a developing, developing country? In fact, the fastest developing country in East Africa. If we can develop, China in itself was once a poor country, an underdeveloped country, but it has gotten to a place that its growth is very rapid and it needs resources to sustain this growth. And where do these resources come from? Africa. And it will get to a time where Africa will need its resources, but they are gone. Where to? The East. And you will have to buy them back. Guys, open our eyes. We can do without the East. Third proposal, you have three minutes to answer your questions. My fellow opponent has just told us about what ifs. It's not about what ifs, it's about now. Let me give an example in, the, in terms of the transport industry. Most of the vehicles we, we use, they come from companies coming from the east. For example, we have the Toyota, we have the Honda, the Nissan, the Mitsubishi, the BMW. Where are they from? The east. So how will you tell me that I will not directly depend on the East? Do you want to tell me that right now the government will issue a ban that from today we are not using any vehicle from the East, we are going to manufacture vehicles on our own? How will that, for you, how will you arrive here without a vehicle from the East? Tell me, Africa, we need the East. 
The other thing is about transport. The East investment in Africa has greatly affected transport in a positive manner. How? Through the East, it has enabled the construction of the, of the SGR. Of the SGR, it has enabled construction of the thicker superhighways and the expressways, and that has greatly influenced our economy. Because when a road is constructed, it directly affects our economy. There will be construction of shops, construction of urban centers, and that one has greatly impacted the African economy. So there's no way you'll convince me that Africa is not dependent on the East. Um, the other thing is about the, the Russian-Ukrainian war. We know that recently we had a Russian-Ukrainian war and it directly affected Africa. Why? Because, for example, Kenya, there was a great rise in the prices of the diesel and the petroleum. Why? Because we directly depend on the East. Finally, I want to clarify on the point of technology. For example, this, ca this camera that is standing in front of me is coming from the east. This gathering, it, will, it wouldn't be possible if it was not for the east. So kindly, Africa, we depend on the east. Madam Posa, you also have three minutes to answer your question. Ladies and gentlemen, straight from the delivery room. And our points are now being delivered, not that they have not been been delivered in, by the previous speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that you are poor does not mean you have to be a dump site. My ego as an African does not allow that. Old vehicles, Mercedes, yes, you have come here by a Mercedes Benz, but it's old, ladies and gentlemen. How long till that vehicle becomes unroadworthy? It causes pollution, it kills us. How long? Ask yourself that. Ladies and gentlemen, also to reply to the question that was asked, we are not saying that African countries, that Kenya should not depend on other countries. In fact, we are saying that as Africa, let us pool our resources together. Let us be interdependent. Mark that. Our oil, for instance, is being mined by foreigners. Why, ladies and gentlemen? Because of debt. Fishing in the coast, we are actually Re relying on China with its technology, and you tell us that, th that we are learning from the technology. Please just think before you come and offer points. I would also like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that the main threat facing development in Africa is debt. It is like we are having a new colonial master, but we are not seeing it. Look at Angola which claims to have had the most infrastructural development from Kenya, 36.3 billion shillings debt. Ethiopia, 7.9 billion debt. Kenya, 7.4 billion debt. And you still want us to continue to lie? I say no. The port of Zambia, gone. The port, the port of Zambia, gone. Almost recently, as the opposition side has said, we nearly lost our port to China. If that happens, African, all the African countries have been hampered. Yet, as, yet, ladies and gentlemen, let us just look at this. African countries are being impacted. Look at, I want you to look at the Rwandan genocide. When African countries are being impacted, the East is not facing anything. But when the East is having trouble, African countries are being impacted. And you want us to continue with the reliance. What are you saying? <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what are you saying? I would also like to to talk about this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at Tanzania pulling out. Look at Tanzania facing economic development at the time when it pulled out from its deals with China during the reign of John Pombe Magufuli. Ladies and gentlemen, if that is not the site that all African countries should have, then I don't know what the meaning of development is. We propose that African countries should unify, ladies and gentlemen. You are talking about brain drain. Which brain drain when, 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 they, when they, in fact, when the Chinese come to hold a project, the constructors are from China. The project managers from China. Africans only get the meager jobs, manual labor. Have you been reduced to manual labor, my people? Have you been reduced to doing manual labor? If you say yes, then there's, there's, actually, there's actually the problem of have, actually blinding ourselves and ladies and gentlemen let us unite and we'll forever oppose this motion i rest my case thank you
Proposition, you have one minute for closing submissions. Uh, so, uh, we have thought of Africa having developed countries. You thought like uh, Africa should unite and actually utilize the resources in Africa. So you mean, we will sit down, huh? Our refines, uh, our oil is still in the refine, uh, our oil is still there, our gold is still there. We will sit down till the day Africa, you know, thinks and, and, uh, and actually decides to use their resources is when we will start using their resources. And then you talked about ego. Ego, you talked about ego, right? So you want to tell me, we will not import, we will not import food, we will not import electronics just because someone's ego is being hurt. Kenya is a developing country for that matter. Ima okay, we have debts. It's true, we have debts. We are, we are borrowing from other countries, but still struggling. So tell me, if we did not borrow, where, we would, where would we be? If we did not borrow, where would we be? You are comparing, you are comparing our, can, our economy to that of, can you even compare Kenya's economy to, to Tanzania's economy? Can you? Can you compare Kenya's economy to Tanzania's economy? We need the East. Yes, we are reaching there. We are moving. We are developing countries. But as per now, we need the East. We need the East. Thank you. Opposition, you have one minute for closing submission. If we did not borrow, we would be free. If we did not borrow, we would have our port, we would have our infrastructure. Why? I do not understand why should we borrow money, build infrastructure, and then allow for them to use. What's the essence? You cannot wait for the day that you'll start utilizing your resources. Start utilizing them now. Africa needs to realize its potential right now, this very minute. We cannot continue this over-reliance and then tell us with the mega um, idea that later on we will wake up and realize we also have brains. We are agreeing that we are poor, that, but that does not make us a dumb site. It does not make us unab un unable to learn. We can get the knowledge, we can get the technology and build these things on our own. Instead of being over-reliant on a side of the world that really doesn't have our interests at heart. Am I one that we should think of staying with the East or independent, I'm still not yet decided, and that means then it was a good debate, that we had facts across the board, and that's a well done attempt. Teamwork is everything. When one is stronger than the rest, and we have a weak point, it affects you. Mpesa Foundation Academy has garnered 71% a round of applause for them. We can do better than that. A round of applause for M-Pesa Foundation. Mary Leakey has made her way with 69%. <laughs> making M-Pesa Foundation the winners of this particular debate. As per usual, we are the home of high school debates. We bring you the very best of them and shall continue to do so. Do not touch that dial. We are slowly making our way into the finals. It is sadly goodbye from us here at the Debate Circle, but we shall most definitely see you in the finals. I have been your host, Stephanie Oshera. Thank you.